everyone, and thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Rhonda's Tales of Steampunk. This is episode one. I will tell you a little history of steampunk, then I will share with you some things that you can do if you're interested in joining the rest of the adventures in the steampunk world. Imagine yourself going back in time to the 1800s, Victorian England, Wild Wild West, or traveling in a time machine. You and your friends are dressed in an era of the past, but you got there in your car. Now how did that happen? Well, you just stepped into the world of steampunk. Based on Victorian era and scientific writings of the past, steampunk first came into prominence in the 1980s and 90s. Described as retro-Victorian scientific fantasies, and going on the fact that machinery still runs off of steam, just like the engine of a locomotive. From clothes to motorcycles, people have been turning things into steampunk fashion, adding clock gears, copper piping, and metallic paint. It seems mostly all about the clothing, though, and how you dress. With absolutely no rules to the dress code, you can be an aviator, sky pirate, cowboy, or a mad scientist. You can carry a walking stick or a laser gun that is fashioned from the future. Or you can be a high fashion Victorian lady with a bustle and a top hat. Aviator goggles or round sunglasses can be seen attached to everyone's hat. You might give them a strange look, wondering if they came from the island of Dr. Moreau. It is said by steampunk scholar Corey Gross, Our corsets are stitched with safety pins. Our top hats hide vicious mohawks. We are fashion jackals running wild in the tailor shop. Jewelry has been made out of old clock gears. You can see some in this book, Steampunk Style Jewelry by Jean Campbell. Here's my assistant John to tell you all about this book and three more. Hello listeners. we got some steampunk styles here for you. Uh, our first would be Steampunk Style Jewelry by Jean Campbell. This how-to-do jewelry making book features the work of an array invited jewelry designers influenced by the growing steampunk trend. Got another one here. Uh, Steampunk Emporium by Gemma Emily Ladybird Hewitt. 20 beautiful and whimsical designs accompanied by detailed step-by-step images and malicious instruction. Another one here. Uh, Steampunk Your Wardrobe by Costella Taylor. Steampunk Your Wardrobe offers to do-it-yourselfers and crafters an easy and comprehensive step-by-step guide by capturing the steampunk fashion. And we have the last one here would be Steampunk Accessories by Nicola Tedman and Sarah Skate. This presents 20 different accessory projects that steampunk buffs will love. And you can find all these books online at Amazon.com. Welcome back, listeners. I hope there was some good information that John shared with you. Well, steampunk has been making its way into movies, such as Sleepy Hollow, Wild Wild West, and Van Helsing. You can also read about it in such novels as H.G. Wells' The Time Machine and The War of the Worlds. You can also read it in Jules Gabriel Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Journey to the Center of the Earth. If you haven't read any of these books yet, You should really check them out. Well, how would you like to dress up in your own steampunk outfit and have the time of your life? There are many steampunk conventions held in different states. They have ballroom dances, dinner theaters, and different kinds of entertainment. In October 2011, SteamCon 3 was held in Seattle, Washington. 2012, the Wild Wild West Steampunk Convention was held in Tucson, Arizona. The World Steampunk Expo Convention in Dearborn, Michigan was held in May of 2012. And this year, there will be the world's largest steampunk event ever. 2013 Steampunk World's Fair, May 17th through the 19th in Piscataway, New Jersey. They will have music performances, literary and academic guests, and vendors in the midway. If you would like to go and check this out, go to the web at www.steampunkworldsfair.com. 
Well, listeners, you heard a little history on steampunk. I shared with you ways to make your own steampunk jewelry and wardrobe. Keep your eyes open for steampunk style in the movies, and you can go back in time and read all about strange worlds from Jules Verne and H.G. Wells. You can also join other steampunk adventures at the World's Fair in New Jersey. On Episode 2 next week, I will be sharing with you a step-by-step tutorial on creating your own steampunk font in Photoshop. Until then, this is Rhonda with Tales of Steampunk. Get in your time machine and start traveling.